Oh my gosh. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here today, my name is Brogan, and if you are returning, welcome back. I just wanna say really quickly before I start this video that I'm so excited because in every other one of my videos, you can probably hear this clicking noise in the background, which was like so annoying. And I would do everything to try to get rid of it. I don't know why I didn't just like research it on YouTube. Like I just did, it took me two minutes. I turned the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth off on my camera and the clicking noise is gone. My videos are going to be so much better now. I'm so sorry. Anyway, I know that people don't like rambling at the beginning of videos, so let's get right into this. So, I don't know, do people still watch Get Ready With Me videos? I don't know, um, but I'm gonna do a Get Ready With Me anyway, just because I feel like it. Uh, so I have nothing on my face right now besides like my skincare stuff. So I'm just gonna put sunscreen on because you have to put sunscreen on every day or you'll get wrinkles and I already have wrinkles. <laughs> That just fall everywhere. And I already have wrinkles, so that's super fun. I just use, it's running low. And now I just got like so much. So this video is starting off really great. Um, I used the Kula, I'll show it in a second. I'm so sorry. Everyone's already turned this off and unsubscribed. <laughs> anyway, sorry about that. So mine is like broken <laughs> because I've had it for so long, but like, I don't know, the thing fell off. But I used the Kula face, classic face sunscreen. Oh my god, it's getting everywhere. All right, and so I've been doing this TikTok trend that I saw like every day now, because um, I think it really helps with your makeup. So after you like finish your skincare routine, put your moisturizer on and your sunscreen, of course, I just put a thin layer of powder all over my face. It can be any powder, but just pick up a little bit of product and then just like put it all over your face and then after that you take a setting spray oops that's not setting spray by the way the powder I used is the Ciate London I think I don't know don't roast me if I say it wrong everyday vacay setting powder is my absolute favorite and I'm gonna use the everyday vacay setting spray and just spray that all over my face it smells like coconut it smells amazing then I'm just gonna let that dry before I put my primer on and it like really keeps your makeup set all day and doesn't like let it crease and stuff like that and it's just like the best um, foundation to put your foundation on if that makes any sense. But I won't like prime my face any other way. There we go, prime. I won't prime my face any other way now because this just like helps my makeup stay so much longer than it used to. Okay, so now that that's all dry, I'm just gonna put this Porefessional Primer from Benefit all over my face. This stuff I really, really like. And this is the hydrating one. Um, they have two different ones. There's the matte one and this hydrating one. And I really, really like this hydrating one. I'm like, look at this line of like where I got some sun on my face. All right, so now my face is prepped and primed. I'm not a professional, by the way, so just putting that disclaimer in for anyone who's like, wow, she sucks at makeup, because this is just to get ready with me, okay? Chill. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know what I'm saying. Bye. All right, time to go in with some foundation. So if you've watched any of my other videos, I pretty much use the same foundation, and I have for a long time. I always mix the Tarte Face Tape and the Tarte Found Sealer because this one has SPF in it and it's more of like a natural finish, which I use more of this and then I put a little bit of the face tape, which does not have SPF in it, but it's a little more, has a little more coverage. And like right now, you can see I have a lot of acne scars and new acne from like wearing a mask all the time. So I want a little bit of more coverage in like, but not like just this, cause just this alone is like pretty thick, so. I'm going to mix these. Obviously, you can see this is almost gone. Good thing I have a backup. Um, and I like to use a Sonia Kashuk. It's like a $5 beauty blender from Target. And I just really let it soak in with water and then kind of squeeze it out. And it's like damp right now. And it's just like the best beauty blender. And it's so affordable. So I'm going to mix these. I wear the shade 16N in both of them, which is Fair Light Neutral. Just put that all over my face. Also, if any of you are wondering if I straightened my hair, no, <laughs> I didn't. 
My hair is so. Uh, uh. <laughs> My hair is so straight. It's actually ridiculous. Although I know they say that like you always want what you don't have. So like I wish I had like wavy hair, but people with wavy hair sometimes wish they had straight hair. So I don't know. If I had wavy hair, I probably would want straight hair. I don't know. But it is kind of just like annoying how straight it is. Also, what's it called when like <laughs> your hair, when you're like in the wind, like one gust of wind comes through and then your hair is tangled for the rest of your life? What's that called? Does that mean I have fine hair or something? I don't know why I'm asking you guys when I could literally just do a Google search, but literally if like one gust of wind hits myself, my hair, anything, my hair is like so tangled that a brush like barely goes through it. All right, so as you can see, wow. I kind of look ghostly right now, but I'm pretty pale. I don't know if this like light is washing me out a little bit, but I like am pale, but like right now I feel like I look extremely pale. Okay, let's go. I'll have some bronzer to like fix that. Anyway, as you can see, that has a really good, pretty good finish. You can still see my acne scars underneath, but put some concealer over those and we'll be good to go. One of my favorite concealers is the Tarte Shape Tape. For my under eyes and stuff, I use Fair Neutral, so 12N is the shade. And just put that, Ooh, that was a lot of product. And then to like cover up any spots that I don't really want on my face, like my acne scars, uh, I use the shade Light. You can see that I've used this for a long time, it's like all over it. It's almost gone, so I'm definitely gonna have to get some more soon. This is just like, I don't really know what these spots are on my head up there, but. And then I just leave it like this and I go about my day. I'm kidding. And then I blend. Why does this look so intense on the camera, but like, in real life, it looks chill. Whatever. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with the Ciate London, the Everyday Vacay Powder, same one that I did before. And that's just gonna go all over my face to set everything. Probably should have mentioned this at like the beginning of this video, but I have combo skin. So my face like starts off pretty dry and then by the end of the day, it's like really oily, so. Or not really oily, but just like pretty oily. Whew. So, I don't know. I can't believe back in the day I used to like literally wear my foundation like this and I was like, just like foundation, concealer, and powder, and then mascara, and I was like, okay, I'm good to go. I would never do that now. I look like a freaking ghost. Okay, and now it's time for some bronzer and like contour. I've been using this Tardis Pro Glow palette that I got from BoxyCharm a while back, and I just kind of mix these two shades. I kind of a little more of this one and then a little less of this because the that one's a little orangey for me. But just do that and then it blends so nice. I love Tarte products mostly because of that fact. I know there's a lot of other ones that work really well too, but this one is my favorite. And I'm still not perfect at bronzer, so keep that in mind. Also, I have a giant forehead. Okay, and then I just take my fluffy brush that I used for my powder and just kind of brush this, brush it out. I don't really know what I'm saying, but like diffuse it a little bit so it's not so harsh. All right, and then for blush, I've also been using this palette and I just kind of mix the two top shades as well. I know a lot of people don't wear blush, but I just really like the, I like the pink little flush of my on my cheeks, so I always wear it and then I just like put the extra like all over just for a little bit of more like youthful glow. Blend it out again. Just make sure that it's like even on both sides. Kind of rude that this 
camera makes my skin look way smoother than it is. I definitely have quite a bit of texture on my skin and I don't know. I feel like this camera is deceiving me. Now highlight, same palette because I don't know. And I just love that it's all in one palette so it makes it like super easy. I pretty much, as you can tell, just use this shade. This one's a more pinky shade which is fine for some looks but for me, I just like the more golden one I guess and look at that so pretty absolutely love it gorgeous gotta get some on my nose so what kind of videos do you guys like to watch you should tell me in the comments so I know what future videos to make and if people don't watch get ready's with me anymore be like stop why'd you do that okay brows my like this is my worst, like, what's the word I'm looking for? This is the thing I'm the worst at. So right now, all I have is this really old universal brow pencer, pencer, pencil from Billion Dollar Brows, and it's a little too dark of a shade for me, but uh, here I am still using it because it's like the only thing I have, so I try to go really light. A package has arrived. Try to go like pretty light-handed on it because of that. Wow, I need to pluck my brows. It's like, do you see this hair right here? Nice. So, whoa. Try to go really light-handed with it. So, what's everyone up to these days? There's someone making wild amounts of noise outside of my house. What are my neighbors doing? So, after I do this video, I'm filming it. Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> It's so dark, what did I do? Oh my god. Um, after this video, I am filming another video, a fashion video, about ways to style a mini skirt, slash like mini skirts you need in your life. I hate this, this looks so bad. Anyway, so that will, that should be, that should be up by now, I feel like. I will link it in the description if it is, and if not, it's coming soon, okay. I really think this is the wrong shade for my eyebrows, even though it's like a universal shade is literally what it's called, but it's like almost too like reddish for me. I hate it. I think it, yeah, I like think it's too warm toned maybe. I'm not 100% sure. The camera picks it up so much differently than it does here. It does not look that crazy here, I swear. So do you guys do TikTok? I've been trying, but it's hard to make time for that on top of like YouTube and blogging and Instagram. I want to get more active on there, but need more time. Work's been really busy too. What is my neighbor actually doing out there? Or is it a woodpecker? I don't know if you guys can hear that, but. Okay, so I don't love my eyebrows. Like I really don't. Okay. All right, so now I'm gonna do my eyeshadow. I just do a really simple eyeshadow, and I use this palette pretty much every day, the Tartlet in Bloom palette. It, it is like the actual perfect everyday palette. You could also make it like day to night with the dark shades for like a smoky eye or something like that. So the shades I use, I mix Smarty Pants right here and Jet Setter, and I just really like the color that that creates and I try to keep that on the outer corner of my eye. All right, so it's just like super basic like that. Just kind of keep it on the outer edge and I bring a little bit in, but I'm gonna put something else in like the inner portion of my eye. So kind of just stick with that. Okay, so I work at a school and like during the summer we provide childcare for the kids. So like I normally work in preschool during like the school year and then I do like it's kind of like daycare, but it's like kids care during the summer. And my kids love to watch the Magic School Bus. <laughs> that song is stuck in my head. Also, did you guys ever realize how lit of a song that is? Like, it is so catchy. Like, did you guys ever realize how catchy of a song that is? It is stuck in my head. I know none of the words. Swing on the magic school bus. 
Look, you might get baked into a pie on the magic school bus. Right on the magic school bus. Anyway, if none of you remember that, sorry. Okay, now I'm gonna just take another brush and I use the shade Firecracker just on like the inner portion of my eye. It's like almost the same color as those two mix, but it's just a little shimmery, like you can barely tell. But whatever. If you apply it with your finger, it makes it a lot more shimmery, but I just want this to be very subtle. And then in the inner corner, I put the shade Funny Girl. It's like a, that's not the right brush. It's like a very more shimmery golden shade and it just really opens up your eyes and just looks so pretty. Like see the difference between that and that? Love it. Okay. And then I actually used to like only be a um, eyeliner person and I never used eyeshadow, but I have kind of changed and not been wearing eyeliner and just wearing mascara. So I'll show you what mascaras I've been really loving. So these are my favorite ones right now. The Thrive Cosmetics. Liquid Lash Extension, Tarte's Lights Camera Lashes, and Urban Decay Lash Freak, which was sent to me complimentary and uh, for testing purposes, and it's really cool. So I'll show you all of those, because I kind of use all of them, but first, I'm gonna use my $2 <laughs> e.l.f. Cosmetics Lash Curler. Cruising on my mainstream. Okay, so I like to start with the Tarte's whoop, Lights Camera Lashes. This is really good for lifting, lengthening, and giving more volume. Like a lot of times I'll just use this one. There's just one coat on and I really like how it looks. And I only use that on the top lashes and I also only use this one on the top lashes, the Urban Decay Lash Freak. This one has a very interesting wand. It's like just like curved up. I don't really know how to explain it, but this one you have to be a little careful. Don't want to have too much product on it. And then after that, I just go back in with some more of this. Beautiful. And of course, I always get some ick on myself. So then I just take this broken old spoolie and just go over the spots that got on me and scrape them off. I just got mascara all over my fingers. I'll be right back. I'm just basically going to do the same thing on the other side, just on the top of my lashes, but look at the difference. Okay, so I have that on both of my upper lashes. That's the only thing I'll use up there. I mean, I'll only use those up there because otherwise they like transfer to my under eye throughout the day. And it's not just those mascaras. Every single mascara I've ever used has always transferred to my under eye, leaving like this dark, just the um, look like a shadow and it's just bad. And I, I yeah, anyway, this, is insane. This Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara is the only mascara I have ever used on my lower lashes. Um, sorry. I just got an email from a company that wants to use one of my pictures on their Instagram feed, so that's actually really cool. Um, sorry. I don't know where I was with that, but this is the only mascara I've ever used on my lower lashes that does not transfer at all during the day. Like, I'm not even kidding you. I have used so many different mascaras throughout my life and they have always always transferred no matter what i do if i use like a primer lash primer first or if i use setting spray like none of them and i just i can't for the life of me like understand why that is and i don't know what this like company did but i know that they're like cruelty free and stuff so i don't know if that has anything to do with it but it does not transfer so that is my favorite under eye mascara which I need to get a new one soon. Okay, finishing it off with the Everyday Vacay setting spray that I used prior to this. All right, and that is my finished makeup look, you guys. So I'll insert myself at the beginning here. And now this. So <laughs> that was just a little get ready with me. I guess it was mostly a makeup routine because I'm not doing anything with my hair. I don't really feel like curling it or anything, and I just washed it today, so I just kind of want to let it breathe. 
But yeah, so I guess it was more of a my current makeup routine with a little bit of me rambling on and on. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. I have lots of new content coming up. Um, so yes, thank you guys again, and I will see you in my next video.